Waiting for 15 years, dozens of low-income families who were forced to move out of their subsidized housing are finally getting a chance to come back home. But as News 4's Mark Seagraves reports tonight, many of the families won't return. Nathan Brown had his daughter by his side today, a day he's been dreaming of for 15 years. When Temple Course was demolished in 2008, my mom and former resident organized for the promise and the right to return, but after every year passed, after Muriel administrations change and more affordable housing was knocked down throughout the district, it seemed like just another empty promise. I am so proud of where we stand today, but make no mistake, the journey wasn't easy. Nathan Brown grew up in the old Temple Courts public housing high rise that had deteriorated so badly. In 2008, the district government closed it, promising to rebuild. Today, Mayor Bowser celebrated the opening of that new building. And while the promise to hundreds of families was they would be able to move back one day, the reality is only 65 of the 700 apartments will be returning residents, due mostly to the years and years it took to rebuild. I think it's a fair criticism. Um, we also know that affordable housing projects, projects period, can take a number of years. And we have been very focused on eliminating parts of the process that, that we don't need. It is our hope, and you're right to point out, um, if people have been moved out for a long time, they live somewhere else now, and they don't always see themselves coming back. Brown and his family won't be moving back. He has a new dream because now I'm organizing for the next dream, to become a homeowner in the District of Columbia. So the next time you see me, I plan to be celebrating with my family in a new home. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Today's celebration comes as the chair of the D.C. City Council announced he plans to bring Mayor Bowser's proposal to overhaul the D.C. Housing Authority back before the council for a vote tomorrow. The mayor wants to do away with the current board that oversees the Housing Authority and replace it with a new board after a federal report found multiple problems within the agency.